Hello again, it's me, Mentor. Once again, introducing you to the glory... I use that word incorrectly... Uh, ...of the Old World Order podcast. An actual play podcast, vaguely using the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition rule set. I do say vaguely. None of these people know what they're doing. Bunch of drunks. Yeah, well. As always, your host is the piñata full of shouting Adam Nickel. James Norfolk Sinis, a man who stares vaguely inside an empty bottle of beer, wishing that he knew how he'd got to this point in his life. And Chris Hayton, who we should all just hold hands and pray for. Well, as I pray. Stone might be a better way of putting it. If you're really bored and have money to spare, there is a collection of pogs that we've been using in these entire games. Uh, if you would like a set, email us at fluffandhammer at gmail.com. Go now, I suppose. Let you enjoy this. My mouth is bored anyway. Bye! forces of Emperor Calfrans. Beasts in the shape of men stalk the night as the verminous ratfolk scurry beneath the roots of the world. Greenskins bellow their rage and throw themselves to battle, while the dead refuse to stay in their repose. The darker gods laugh at the children of Sigma. Humanity holds on to existence in squalor, lies, and filth. Join us now as we follow the story of such individuals, their trials, their tribulations, and their very bad decisions. Welcome to the Old World Order. So what I want you to do is I want you to roll. Shit! I want you to shit. Suck that bottle. Oh Suck. god, your your entire shirt's now covered in how beer. Did that, how did that even happen? I put it down gently. Oh good lord. Jesus Christ. Well, I've Absolutely just been, covered. I've just oh, been zealous. sombrero. Oh, zealous. So. Mexican plot. I want you to Mexican plot. roll an initiative mm -hmm. as you jump into the barn. Right, do you know what I've been trying to do mm -hmm. previously when I've been rolling initiative? Yeah. Because in all of the roles in this game, for people who don't know, you need to get under or equal to your skill. Yes, yes. Call of Cthulhu. But when you roll initiative, you need to be something high. It's an add. Yeah. You, know, you want to add. So, yeah. not that I have any control of the dice, but I've been willing a smaller number. Okay, so right. Let's yeah. So let's see if my willing a higher number mm -hmm. has any effect. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. 40. Mm-hmm. 
52. So the reason why I'm using this older version of Initiative is that the current version in this game is um, a little bit convoluted for my liking. So I've gone back to an earlier version. Mm -hmm. So it, it just makes a lot more sense to me as a, oh, yeah, a GM the highest, no, highest makes that sense. you add the Initiative to the roll in order to make Nine. the... No, that's cool. Man. So you roll your Initiative. Right, okay. So, you break open the door. Please, roll me a animal training or a challenging charm. Do you have a charm? Uh, that would be... It's up to you. Whichever gets the highest number. WP. Mm -hmm. uh, I, this time, I've, I've failed it. 70, 46. Okay, then. Right. So, the horses then start to scarper out of the, the building. They run like Billy O. The last horse runs past. Please roll me a dodge test. That's dex. Mm -hmm. uh, my dex is 28. I got 17. Okay, the last horse hits you full on. It knocks you over. Good damn. You have been left prone on the ground. As the horse collapses, you realise a massive chunk has been taken out of its throat and it lies there bleeding to death on the floor. Did I hear any missiles outside the barn? Well, you, you, it's, you in, it's in the horse. I didn't, I didn't go off to the. No, well, you didn't, yes, yeah. Yeah, because of problems. Because of technical issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Just checking. Now, when I realise that it's advantageous for me to stay outside the end, <laughs> to clarify for everyone listening, we've just recorded the segment and the, uh, the software we were using to record didn't actually record it. So, in meanwhile, the previous version, I, I went to the to the inn, but. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe, <laughs> Chris's Witch Hunter character is currently six goblets deep in the <laughs> worst wine the Empire can provide. <laughs> While talking to the O'Reilly the Watchman, telling him how he's such a good friend. I, I realise now that that's a, that's a bad decision and that I should probably... I'm metagaming and that's lame. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna, I, well, can I, hear, can I hear all this come up? Oh, you he's do. Not, you can. Inside, well, I've just got to sprint inside and see what's going on. You see all these horses legging it out. You would see all these horses legging it out. I need all the mm -hmm. neighing and the brain and the, the neighing and the brain and yeah, the knocking, yeah. knocking down and him going, ah! Okay, so you, you spin on your heel and just go, I'm needed over there! I spin 360. Yeah, and head towards the bar. <laughs> and head towards the bar. Yeah. Head towards the bar. Yeah. Yeah. I, I swear, well, it's so unfair, we're, laugh laughing, we're right. laughing at jokes that no one will ever hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the joke from the dead segment. Adam was like, you spin 360, and we were like, don't you mean... <laughs> no, I meant 360 because you were the circling the entire I bar. I know, yeah. but it sounded like you just wanted just to turn on the spot like some kind of piss. Just spin like Michael Jackson. Like we were doing the hokey cokey. Are you okay? Are you okay? And it's been. No. Okay. Um, so. I'm on the floor. He's running in. Yeah. Ah! So you're running in. James. Pick demons, his, demons. Do you pick yourself up? I stand up, dust myself off. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I uh, lift the lamp. Yeah. What type of lamp is this, by the way? It's just a little uh, road, gas road warden oil uh, candle, candle. candle candle candle. Yeah. Candle lamp. Okay. I use the light of the candle lamp to scan the room. As you, I spin three sixty. <laughs> as you stand up, and raise the candle, directly in front of your face is a dripping moor, a spider-like. I use my tongue to shoot it in the face. Hang on, let me finish. <laughs> a spider-like facade, dripping blood from its mandibles. I, I maintain. Its spider-like limbs move slowly in around you, and you just hear under your under its breath, Gratz eats well tonight. Gratz likes the taste of hot blood. Sigmar above! And as I scream that, I fire my pistol into the maw. Okay, roll, roll. Yep. So does that make Just it a success? Five, no, it's, it, it was a success. And success. It. So that makes it a critical success. Yeah. Right, let me introduce you to something that we're attaching to this. A Patreon exclusive reward. Okay. Where people get to narratively tell you how good your critical success was. Have we got people live telling me what I did? Not live. But this is a Patreon reward. Critical. You make me go weak at the knees. Oh, no. This is from Graham Fisher, who wrote a lot of these. So for the next six weeks, you're going to be hearing a lot of criticals and fumbles. So do I shoot this man in the face and he jizzes to death? 
No. You strike your opponent square in the sternum. They force to their knees while trying to gather their breath. Double damage. Nice! And minus two to strength for the duration of the fight. So he's weaker? Yes. Right, well, double damage. So I've shot him point blank in mm-hmm. the chest. Yep. Double damage. So that's my damage for my pistol is... Oh, fuck. Sorry. By the way, I, I've been swearing a lot tonight, and I don't know how much you... you uh, Does it fucking matter? Uh, eight no. Pl- my damage is just eight plus, so what am I rolling for this? Sorry. I've forgotten how we do damage on this. So you roll, um, and then... So First what, of all... What am I rolling? Sorry, so roll right. ballistic skill for using your pistol. I've, that's yeah, what, so you've that's done that. Got the hit. So to roll damage, you roll again. The, the six skill again. Yep, yep. The, the two, the, so the, you... the one hundred. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. Is what I would say. I need still nine. So pistol, uh, range twenty yards. You got a damage plus eight. So roll. Uh, ninety-four. So ninety-four plus eight. Add hundred and two. Hundred and two. Plus two. Hundred and four. So that is. I think. Come on, blow that fucker apart. I think that might be an insta kill. Uh, give me a tech. I'm getting um, getting a flashback scene you know, at the end of Men in Black, you know, uh, <laughs> when he swallows the ancient K and then he rides around in it and then blows it up from the Boom. inside and he goes, I want to get my gun back. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is yeah. 14 points of damage. Nice. 14 wounds. No, 14 points of damage, so yeah, 14 wounds. Uh, so you have just blown his insides out. He falls he to his knees and collapses in on himself. Uh, I imagine as, as he falls, the body of the young stable boy drops next to you, missing the entirety of his upper head. So he's dead. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Thanks, patrons. <laughs> couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have fucking do it without you. Couldn't have done it that well. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, just to explain that, so if you're a Patreon supporter, you can give us a critical or a fumble, or both, as many as you want, um, and that is going to narratively shape what we do. Uh, he's, he's on the floor, prone, insides blown out, lying face down. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, just ensure that he is dead mm-hmm. by delivering a coup de grace and Ooh, uh, nice. uh, taking my rapier mm-hmm. and taking your head off. Okay. Oh. If you want to roll a strength. The stable point. <laughs> the stable boy is well dead. Stable He's missing everything me. above the lower teeth. Me fucking head like. Uh, oh, 88 against 36, so I failed that. Okay, so what you've actually done is stick your mm-hmm. sword into him, and then it won't come out again. It's very grim dark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrench on that sword till it's free. Well, in next turn you can roll another strength. I'll roll another strength. Chris. Yes? What are you doing? I sprint into the barn in a panic because in, in the seconds that it's taken for the horses to run out of You've the heard barn, shot. I've heard you go, ah! And I've heard you go, ah! Bang! And fire. Just a, um, a little, a um, just a, a public service announcement. Shiptons, the, um, <laughs> oh, sorry, Shipstons, sorry. I thought that was a John Smith. Shipstons, the <laughs> John Smith knockoff I got from Aldi is shit. Is it horrible? Let me do an advert for it. Do you like beer? <laughs> do you like your mouth to be wet? Don't have shit. Do you know? It's fucking horrible. Do you know when you wash your dog? Yeah, that yeah. That tastes like the water you that wash off. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it smells like dog water. That is honestly horrible. Yeah, it really is. That's absolutely vile. That tastes like it's been barbecued. I need to get through that so I can get to a hobgoblin again. <clears throat> That's awful. Oh, it's got horrible aftertaste. It, it really does. Initially, right, upon, upon touching the tongue, mm-hmm. you go, hmm, kind of like a Heineken, mm. almost. Kind of hoppy. And then there's this horrible aftertaste of just... It tastes like it's got charcoal in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it tastes kind of smoky, right? I'm, I'm not happy with that. I'm enjoying Me and Chris are drinking uh, Sombrero, mm-hmm. which tastes like someone has dissolved an entire mm-hmm. bag of sugar into a beer. Mm-hmm. It does, yeah. Excellent. Um, can't stop my thighs. These are all the knockoff, <laughs> the, uh, the leftovers from when I had a wedding. Uh, <laughs> when I had a wedding. I had a wedding, yeah. I just one of those things. The wedding. You had so, the wedding. So, Grat is dead. Good. What do you? Uh, that pleases me. What are you gonna do next? Well, he's just entered the room, and I'm gonna turn to. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and retrieve my sword. Okay. okay. What? In Sigmar's name has happened in here? I look over uh, to thir- where Grat is. Thirteen out of thirty-six. All right. Sorry. So yeah, you you pulled the sword back out. <laughs> yeah. This thing, this whatever. Do I know? Do I? We, 
I'm a soldier of the Empire, mm-hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean I fought everything the, the, the Empire no, I faces. Think, I think you'd have and heard know, tales of mutants. And I know a lot of things are myth mm-hmm. in the Empire. So do I know what this is? You, you realise it's a mutant with some description. But I don't know it would be like a vampire or something. Well, you, you know it's a... It's some kind of mutant. Some sort of lich mutant is eating this boy and was going to devour me until I, thankfully, blew its fucking ass out. I look at the mangled monstrosity on the floor. Mm-hmm. Oh, why did you do that? I run over to the monstrosity. It's beautiful. A beautiful <laughs> specimen. You shot him to pieces. I could have taken him back for experiments and study. I think... More importantly, I think we need to... I, hear me out. The dead boy, I think we can leverage, should we keep our wits about us, despite we are both slightly drunk, I think we can leverage the dead boy Wait. into free board room and drink. Are you going to hold his head like a puppet at the window and go, Let us in, it's the stable boy! No, There's no, no head. No, 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 I'm going to... He said that he was missing everything from the teeth down, so I'm yeah. imagining you could just, just jam your hand into him and just kind of... Like, if you if you positioned it right in a window frame, you could probably just kind of go, It's me, really, the stable boy, let us in! <laughs> That's awful. Hear me and see what you think. It's the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> Hear me and see what you think. I thought that's where you were going. I grab the stable boy and I hold you in my arms. Like you bring the beast. Oh, I dragged him. And we drag them both. Not him, we drag them both to the inn. Well, I will affect the tears of a woman, and I will weep copiously yes. for the dead boy. Yes. And we will. I will describe how I blasted the shit through this ass bastard. <laughs> this ass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. we will leverage this. Sure. For drinks, sure. Food, yeah. And board. Okay. What do you think? I think that that's a cracking plan. So long as I get to keep the monster. You can keep the monster. I'll have you keep. Where's the uh, the watchman who's lamp I stole? Oh right. He, he wandered off to the inn. He's at the inn. He, he limped his way to the inn. Uh, I uh right. I'm Pist- sure this is all he's doing. Pistol holstered. Mm-hmm. Sword retrieved and holstered. Wicked off, of course. Uh, boy in arms. I say I'm ready to go to the inn. Can you can you please just uh, luxuriously describe what's left of the boy so I can imagine what he's holding in his hands? Certainly. Because I don't know how much of him is left. Because you keep saying there's not much of him left, but his entire what? corpse is intact until you get to the bottom jaw. Then everything from the bottom jaw up until about the back of the crown has been devoured. Is, is he? Ah, he's fucking eating. There's, he's like, there's something like that in a, a film that's called House on Haunted Hill. Oh yes. With Jeffrey Rush. The 2000 one. The yeah. Shitty yeah. Awful one. But there's a bit where there's a guy and he's like he's watching all the rooms you know because it's like it's like Jeffrey Rush is trying to like win the fortune the 10, dollars, 10 million dollars or whatever mm-hmm. it is to stay the night and uh, they swing the guy around who's supposed to be like watching the cameras and it's like that it's just like he's, like he's got full body and then up to here like chin and then it just goes in and it's like all hollowed out like mm-hmm. he's just scooped his face out. If you ever seen the uh, Phantoms, that happens in Phantoms as well. I've seen the Phantom. With Fa- Billy no, 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 just Phantoms. I watched. As, as we all know, Ben Affleck was, was the bomb, the bomb in, Phantoms. in Phantoms. I don't know what Phantoms is. You should watch Phantoms. I'll be the audience on this one because I'm sure there's people listening. <laughs> also, Ben Affleck, ben Affleck best Batman. Moving on. I disagree. I, I actually love him as Batman. He's not the best Batman. I've not seen Val Kilmer is the best Batman. <laughs> Genuinely, as a, actually, as I've got older and older and older, yeah. and I've moved past my love of the Nolan Batmans, mm-hmm. I fucking love Batman Forever. Here's Batman it. Forever's fucking mint. Yeah, Batman Forever is decent. I was with Batman Forever. Two Face is, is sick as fuck. Jim Carrey as the Riddler. No better Riddler. Name, name a better can, Riddler. Can, can, name a Riddler. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I tell you something really genuinely Frank genuine Ocean. about this? Frank Ocean was the Riddler. Yeah. Okay. It's fucking mint. Oh, Joe's really kid, bad. That's the one I watched as a kid. Like, it's fucking, yeah, it's, in, it's fucking eight. Joe's really bad. The Chris Nolan Batman films. No, 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 that's no, a, no, 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 no. The no, first no, one's brilliant. No, no, no. Let, let, no, let, the Dark Knight is still good. I know let, it's been ruined by people, but it's let, still. Let good. me. Maggie Gyllenhaal wasn't in it. Either. I love. I love. Let Gyllenhaal. me. Pl- let me put my uh, uh, my case on the table. Secretary. Let me. Let me put my case on the table. Then we'll continue. Let me put my case on the table. Batman is yeah. terrible in the Chris Nolan Batman films. It's everything else that makes them good. Yeah, because Batman... Sh- He's a thug. Yeah, but he also is... Batman is what the Chris Nolan films do to get 
really pathetic on this is they acknowledge that Batman is the tertiary character of Batman universe mm-hmm. and it is the villains that are the true Do you know what the, draw of the Batman universe. Do you know what the best thing is mm-hmm. in uh, Ascending Order? Commissioner Gordon because it's his story. Yeah, he's fucking mid. The Joker. Because after all, he's just the best part of anything he's ever been in. Adam, yes? you know, I'll say what the Chris Nolan Batman films are. Hmm? They aren't Batman films. Hmm? They are GCPD films. I agree. And, yeah. and that is why they are good. Because yeah, okay. GCPD and operating then, in that environment. And the best good. thing about those films... Is Because <laughs> after all, I'm Bane. Yes, that's my name. You say the name Bane, I guarantee you the pain. I'm coming after you, Bruce Wayne. I'm stronger, smarter, clinically insane. I like, I anyone, you know, anyone could do that. It's crazy how anyone could do that voice. Just like, yeah, oh, you were born at the golf club. Have I ever, <laughs> have I ever shown you uh, how uh, friends of mine have threatened to kill me? I threatened to kill you. Yeah, I, well, I, yeah, I worked yeah. with you in an environment where essentially I was living with you. Where I would, go, <laughs> I would go to bed at night and then I would wake up and you would be there doing the same thing, <laughs> doing, doing the exact same thing. I said, we'll do it for a, an after show thing at some point but uh, I once did a, a Joker rant um, and I was told that if I ever did it again I would be murdered <laughs> but anyway moving right on for this, though. moving on so um, the spider mutant is dead I've got the boy in my arms absolutely dead I'm dragging yeah. the aberration of chaos okay that I, well I assume that it is but the coach house seems quiet and the inn and bar of the hooded man seems to be quiet we are wailing, we affect wailing, and we make our way to the inn. I think we should be in cel- celebratory jips. I think we should be like slapping each other by the shoulders and being like, We killed the fucking monster. You can. I'm going to, aff- you, I'm going to affect is. wailing for the dead boy. Oh, are you in sorrow? I'm going to pretend to be. Oh, okay, right, yeah. In yeah. fact, performance. You should, be like, you should be like, Shh. Adam, is there anything I can use on here to perform? You can use charm. Or, yeah, use that. Uh, or you could use. Let's have a look, see. Uh, you could use charm, you could use intuition, or you could use perception to react to what the other well, people are saying. Well, my, my charm is based on my fell, which mm-hmm. is 33 and I got 32. Your fellowship, yep. So I'll, I'm, I'm, not, I'm doing okay for performing. Okay. I am affecting that I'm really bothered by this gate charm. Are lights on up at the inn? Obviously. Oh yeah, there's lights on. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I was, I was going to say, what's the point in all this if it's just, just, there's no one home? <laughs> just like you going ah in a field <laughs> one with a dead child with the face and one <laughs> and two and three and seed. <laughs> ah, the boy is dead. As we, I'm running up to the inn. The boy is dead. The boy is dead. Kick in the door. The boy is dead. Oh no. You, you've got the beast. Oh no, the boy is dead. I someone, ki- el- someone help, Sigma help us. I kick in the door and fall to my knees in the inn. Say, the stable know. boy is dead! Let me stop you there. The door is locked. <laughs> the door is locked? The door is locked. I run bodily into <laughs> I, the door with the dead body of my mouth. Plan B. Just pop it in my It's mean. Ezekiel. I want you to take a wound as you've broken your nose. <laughs> Fuck me! And I'm serious about that. Take a wound. Uh, where's my wound at, man? On the back. Uh, back of the sheet. Back of the sheet. Turn the sheet over. I will. I will. My complaint is these sheets are very convoluted to me. They are, yeah. I got 15, so I've now got 14. Is yeah. this a permanent wound? No. It, it will, once you uh, get a rest. A bit so of rest. I'm going to put 14. It's a permanent wound by being crippled. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah I would, I'd like, it's like stabbing. Yeah, yeah. Shots. Broken yeah, arms, yeah, that type of thing. Stabbed. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it takes For a, a lot of years. It takes a longer time years, than, being, like, you can. than me just like crap. You can hear merriment and sounds of laughter, and everything sounds like all is well from inside. I use the boy to hammer up. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I use the top of his boy to hammer on the door. The laughter dies away. All right, Mercury. After a few moments, the door has the, the sounds. <laughs> You've already seen the spider. The bolts shift back. Kudunk, kudunk, and the fattest man you've ever seen answers the door. <laughs> Is it me? Circa <laughs> no, 2016. It's not. It's not. <laughs> All right, okay. You sexy bastard. It's not. Right. Um, hello. What do you want? <laughs> there is a beast in your stable, and he has murdered your stable boy. Whatever you're having. Boy. The boy is dead. The boy is dead. The boy. The boy is dead. The bring, boy is dead. The boy is dead. Bring the boy inside. I bring the boy inside. How did you come across his corpse? Because he's dead. I, the boy is dead. 
believe it or not, I thought there was a wall betwixt me and the inn and decided to enter through the stables and I found there some sort of ghastly beast eating, feasting upon the brain and face of the boy. Being a soldier... The brain and face of the boy? <laughs> being, a, yeah. being a soldier of our empire, I uh, utilised my training and I dispatched a shot into the chest of the beast, vanquishing it. Glorious, my fellow, glorious emperor. My, my glorious emperor. Uh, the, my fellow here has the beast with him. You will see it is some sort of ghastly mutant. Uh, the likes of which only chaos would stain our earth with. Definitely he chaos. He stares wide-eyed at the mutant. Oh, good lord. And it has eaten the face and brain of your boy. The boy. The boy is dead. The boy the is boy. dead. How will we do without the boy? Like, who knows? Get a new boy. Oh. And the boys are plenty. Oh, please take a seat. He, uh, he turns over to Hans, who is currently sitting there having a beer. The boy is dead, Hans. Is this, is this Hans the Watchman? Yes. The, the road warden, yeah. Know, where are you? He doesn't know where the hooded man in is, despite walking the roads every single day. Oh, I still got the Sorry, I still hate him yes, for that. Yes. Still, uh, I turn to him and go, you seem comfortable. <laughs> oh, no. What was the voice he used? Uh, um, you were Irish, Irish, Northern Irish. Oh, yeah, I'm just sitting here quite happily. I'm just sitting here drinking my beer. I, uh... I do, didn't really... Do, do, do you do Jerry Adams? Jerry Adams. I know Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, United Ireland. We're like, I've got a dead it, boy in my was, arms here. Was it more of a Jerry Adams I went for? I can't. I honestly more, can't yeah, remember. Ian Paisley. <laughs> it was. It was more Jerry Adams to my ears. Oh, me, me well, you see, I, I, I just decided to come in here and get myself a, a, a bit of a beer because you guys seem to be important and join yourself over there. I uh, gesture to you with a faceless boy in my arms, and I. Well, I got the boy. The boy's dead. The boy is dead. The, the boy, boy is, is dead. dead. The, the boy, boy is dead. The boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy. The boy. The boy is dead. Does anyone know the boy's name? He's just the boy. The boy is dead. The boy. The boy is dead. The boy is dead. The boy is dead. The boy is dead. <laughs> the boy is dead. That's gonna be a shirt. <laughs> the boy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's really not. There's nothing left of him at all. It's that's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. The boy is dead. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's a t-shirt right there. Uh, oh for God's sake! Sorry. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm back. Okay. So, um, Otto, the landlord. Uh, my name's Otto. I'm the landlord here. Please take a seat. Uh, you'll get a, a couple of beers on the house. Fantastic. Uh, uh, but but uh, would you like to just put the boy in the back room and we will uh, summon the undertaker in the morning? I, uh, yeah, I walk through the back room and I uh, place the boy on a, a, mm-hmm. the available space that yeah. is in the back room. Cool. Right. Um, please take a seat and just uh, sit next to the fire. Uh, uh, my friend here has the, the beast that killed the boy. No one touches the beast! It's he wants to keep property the beast. of the Empire. Put it next to the boy. Property of the Empire, it doesn't have any put it, sight. Put, just put it next to the boy. We get to take the beast in the mo- on the morrow. That's right, that's, that's right. Please take a, the beast for you. take a seat. John Candy isn't touching the beast. He will not, the, here we've, what we've done is we've leveraged the boy and the beast into Aeol's. He couldn't stop me staying here. Just say that he couldn't stop me staying here. He could have stopped you staying Like, here. if I wanted to, I could have just you stayed here. You could have done anything. I could have just, I could do anything I want. You have the power. Oh, you, you have the power to do anything you wanted. So, so, so I'm not begging it. What we've done is we've created a frictionless night. You wouldn't have a smooth to. transition. You don't have to. We had a, a, like a bit of an issue this evening with bandits attacking the inn. Um, um, you think you've had an issue. My, my, you you've had a bad night. And my friend here has exploded the arse of a goatman. <laughs> I put I put um I put this device up a goat man's bum. Called an anal pair. Yes. Put the anal pair. Oh, oh, oh sorry, 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 that was uh I do apologise for that. A guy looking honestly a little bit uh, thin and just sallow in skin walks past with a mop and just says I'm sorry, I'm just cleaning up everything from tonight's excursions. 
What do you mean by excursions? When the bandits, the bandits attacked, we have to clean up all the uh, the mess that was left. The Your bandits. mutant must have been left over from when they came. So, if I'm understanding this right, good groundskeeper. Yes. Uh, the bandits that attacked you were some sort of mutants. The bandits themselves were just bandits. They weren't mutated, but they must have been left by some sort of mutated leader. So, if but if I understand correctly, your your inn is sort is armoured is is armed against attack. Of course, we often have issues with chaos worshippers as they try to get in to get to the basement. What's in the basement that they would want? A shrine. A shrine to. We've destroyed it now, but there was a shrine to the ruinous powers down there. I indicate to my, I nudge my witch hunting friend. Who is currently just in doing nothing but drinking beers. He's drinking beers, he's downing the pints that we got from, uh, from Otto the from innkeeper. Otto the innkeeper. Uh, I am, while listening to this, struggling with a bottle of Bugman's finest mm. uh, ales. Uh, but when you look at it, it says Bigman's finest. There's Bigman's finest, there's fucking, this cheap, this cheap Aldi <laughs> imitation of Bigman, of Bugman's. Uh, so, answer me truly, uh, groundskeeper. You had a shrine. There was ruinous a th- power. There was a shrine. The last, these, the last owners of the inn had a shrine to the ruinous powers in the basement. Well, I would hope that the last owners of this establishment were burnt at the stake for which They are long dead, sir. Long dead. And how were they dispatched of? Uh, fire. Uh, then they were disemboweled. Then set on fire again. Then they were beaten with sticks. Then set on fire a third time. And then their ashes were put into a small tin. And the tin was set on fire. And then beaten with sticks. And then the sticks were set on fire. And then we peed on the sticks. And and then we set the pee on fire, and then we set ourselves on fire. Then all is well. Okay. Uh, so, just so I'm clear with you, you are being attacked by bandits. Bandits. There was, the, there was in, bandits attacked earlier this evening. Yes. There were bandits. They attacked this deep into the empire, who worship the ruinous powers, and in the basement of this establishment. Ruinous powers. In the basement of this establishment. Point me in their direction. Maybe the last thing they ever do. In the basement of this establishment, there used to be a shrine to the ruinous powers. Ah, but uh, which of the pantheon did they worship? We don't know. It was just the ruinous powers. Uh, oh. Just generic chaos. Yeah, undivided maybe. I don't know. Otto, Otto, your, Look. your sweeper here Look. says that you, not you, sorry, I misspoke, <laughs> says that the previous occupants of this inn used to worship the ruinous powers. There, I, I there, there are tales of a shrine that was here, and we had to uh, fill it with concrete and make sure that the people never came back to it again. Was it sanctified was, by a priest? As the far land, as I'm was aware, the land yes. Blessed? I, as far as I'm aware, yes. I don't know. Can I bless the land as a witch hunter? Yeah, you can try. No, no. <laughs> the, as, 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 uh, yes. Ask it <laughs> Julie, I don't know. Julian, it's part of do, right? Yeah, I mean, you've got the... Uh, uh, you've got the... The, the holy the sigma, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, sh- I should try and bless the inn. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm with you there. I don't want to sleep a night in a... You don't want to sleep a night in a freaking chaos-tinged... Oh, yeah, temple. Yeah. Horror house, do you? Tell me your talents and your skills. Um, so my talents are cool-headed. Mm-hmm. Menacing, mm-hmm. reading, right, and resolute. Okay. What about your skills on the back page? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see skills. Let's see trappings. Oh, it's on the front. Uh, you got nothing there. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do then yeah. is I want you to try a a intuition test. Okay. Um, so roll against your intuition. Okay. Adam. A uh, roll against. So try and get lower. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got 32 and I got 21. Okay. All right. So, um, you start to try to do a blessing, a prayer to Holy Sigma. Mm-hmm. You feel resistance against it. Mm. As if, as you're talking, 
the world around you is becoming more concrete, more solid, more real, more heavy. As you're doing that, you feel that the words aren't getting out of this room. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, were my <laughs> were James here in the room? I would, <laughs> I would turn to him and I would say, "You would say what, good sir?" <laughs> All right. I, I've begun trying. I've, I've succeeded in, in an intuition test. Yep. And I've begun blessing, sanctifying the room. But as I was as I was sanctifying the room, I got the distinct impression that the uh, the words that I was saying weren't leaving the room, and that everything was becoming like more solid and kind of menacing and like cloying around around me. Something. Cloying is a good word for it, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like something like something a heavy drape over everything. And I say maybe. Wilbeck, do you feel that? Uh, do I have anything that I can roll an intuition? Intuition. Intuition is. Um, actually, no. Roll perception. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight and my perception is thirty-seven. You there's a heaviness in the air. The air feels heavy. Something is yeah. draped around us in here. Hmm. Yes, it is the ruinous powers, the taint <coughs> of the ruinous powers. They did not sanctify this place, they merely filled it with not concrete. Whatever it, the equivalent of concrete. Soil! I don't know what concrete is. Yeah, I don't know what concrete is either. Uh, it's it's <laughs> filled, with filled, filled with soil. Uh, they just filled it in and left it. We have to uh, we uh, have to bless it, otherwise we certainly can't stay here. This place is very dangerous. Do you uh, want any food or anything? No, you're okay. You, I'll tell you what, you go upstairs and cook some food and we'll try and bless this place. Why would I go upstairs to cook food? The kitchen's just over there. You go to the kitchen and cook some food. We'll try and bless this place. I'll do some food. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll bless it. What, what, what food do you want? The, the most ridiculously decadent food you have available. Mm. And if that's just potatoes, then that'll do. That'll do too. Meat patty. I'll do. I'll okay, do. I'll I'll go and beat the meat. Not the best, but I mean, I would have preferred like. I'm just gonna go into the kitchen and beat the meat. Not really, like halloumi. Make I would have preferred uh, like. Uh, 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 no, we don't deal with uh, cafe food here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're, yeah. we're not a. I would, I would, in all honesty, sir, I would say yeah. that would be Italian you, food. You right we're say. not. Border princes. We're not a fast food cafe. <laughs> oh, you fuck off! I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm never doing this again. Bye. <laughs> Are you going? Is, is Boris, uh, the, the innkeeper, going to cook some food? Boris. I, I made Otto. 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 Yeah. Well, same name. <laughs> as in von Bismarck. As he uh, goes as in von Biscuit. Otto <laughs> von Biscuit over here. As he goes to cook ah. uh, the food, I lean over to my compatriot and say, "I don't have any money." No, that's right. Yeah. The taint of chaos is thick in the air. Yeah. It's Definitely. Like, there's no other, there's no other option out there. I said, no, but I'm not. He looks rather fat, doesn't he? Hans kind of, like, suddenly he, stands up and starts walking about the kitchen. So, I'll just go see if he needs any help through there. Hans? Yes? You're a loyal servant to the Empire. Of course, Sigma Protect. Sigma Protect. Uh, take, your shirt off. take your shirt off. In the name no. of Sigma. Take what? your shirt off now. That's, that, that's just a weird, really weird thing to ask someone. Hans, take your shirt off. Why, why would I want to take my shirt off? Because uh, we've had a weird night. We've yeah. been on the road. Yeah. We've been attacked by mutants. Right. Mutants carry the taint of chaos. I don't understand. I would like to see your body. <laughs> I would like to. We would like to invigilate if you are a mutant or not. He just raises the front of his shirt and goes. Turn around. Three sixty. Turn three sixty. There's me nipples. Uh, I I just turn around and there, there's me. Uh, there's me back. Shows there's... your ass. I'm not, I'm not showing you my arrows. Expose out. your buttocks and penis. I'm, le- I'm leaving now. I'm going to go. I draw my gun. Get your ass out and you live. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Hans charges. I, I fire? He, oh, no, you don't. Because Hans got a really good initiative roll. No. <laughs> As in, you can't beat it. Hans charges. Hans runs straight at you. And he just goes, You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Smash him, all of us! Smash him! Smash him! Smash him! Guess what we get to do now? Hans comes at you. He's a fucking demon prince or something. Hans rolled a critical 
No one who pretends or to be that he, feckless. Or did he roll a critical, Adam? Oh, well that... Oh, or actually. did he, Adam? Are you want to drop that... Or crit- did he, Adam? Oh, you're going to use that to drop that critical down to a, a normal attack. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Of course we fucking are. All right, then. <laughs> Hand still hits you in the face. Ow. <laughs> you My take a point of wounding to the head. So if you look on the back of your sheet, yeah. you see where it says armour. So you've yeah. lost one armour to the so head. You've lost an armour to the head. So you've not taken a wound to wound. So it's, no. z- so it's changed this one to a zero. Yeah. Because he has hit you in the head with an axe. Shit. He's just the sharp end. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Well, I'm going to go for him. Mm hmm. Uh, rapier, because. Rapier, because I, be, I. be All things being honest, I haven't reloaded my pistol since I killed that beast. I knew it. As soon as I saw the landlord, I thought, oh, he's so neshy. It's he it, loves no, it. it's He loves a fucking kick. The watch nah, it's Otto. Otto's in on it. They're all worshipping it. Uh, my weapon skill is. Uh, 37 for no my weapon skill is 56 for my sword and I got 10 okay so I did it that's a that's in that's a that's a critical it's a 10 10 10 no no if it was 11 it would be a critical 10 0 though so that's a critical isn't it Ten and a zero. Oh, that's a good question. I don't a actually. Know. And a ten, a zero you know what? I, I'm going to say. Critical. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Let's use it as a critical, and let's bring up critical. Uh, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the Dex Museum. You smash your weapon into your opponent's elbow. The blow strikes their funny bone and sends a shocking amount of pain down their arm. Roll a reflex save, which I'll do. To maintain a hold on your weapon, normal damage and plus uh, and minus two dexterity for one d six rounds. Nice. Uh, so he drops the weapon. Drops his fucking axe. And seven rounds, he has minus two dexterity. Minus two dexterity, right? And my damage is mm-hmm. normal, which for my rapier is one SB plus four. So SB is special. So three plus four. So I do seven, is that all in total? Or? Yep. Alright, so I do seven damage in total. Yeah, yeah so seven fine. seven damage, which then brings him down to... Five. He's five. got five wounds left. Five. I've taken this... He's so hard. I've taken this fucking weapon off him, though, and he, and he also can't dodge for shit. At this point in time, his torso splits apart. It's a fucking thing! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Makini! And the spinal cord waves around with the head of a small boy on the end. Boy eater! Tentacles sprout from the bottom of the boy's jaw. He's missing the bottom bottom lips and teeth. And he says, You came too late. I'm already gone and damned and dead. You Failures, you failures of Sigma. In, in, in holy zeal, I sprint at the creature. <laughs> you are not holy, boy. You are just a liar and a thief of humanity. I smell a liar than a of shit. I smell your taint. Taint. <laughs> I am. Um... I lick your bars. I don't know how to respond. I lick your taint. Is this a slender? Taint, 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 taint. How wonderfully decadent. Taint. Let's throw down. Mm, you've got taint. Well, you, you've got five wounds, so. <laughs> you know who I'd rather be. Taint, 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 taint. I like the word taint. <laughs> taint. Willies. <laughs> I do, I do love Alan Willis in real life. Taint, 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 As you've listened to his song for far too long now, he gets initiative. He has now hit you, Chris. Yes. With one of his prostating tentacles that have been forming out of the side of the body. And he hits you. Good. So if you'd like to roll a toughness. Yeah. Okay, 
Uh, you rolled five. Zero, zero, five. Fucking hell. Five. Right, so he uh, he hits you for three points of damage. Eh. You've been slapped around oh, and hit. I got five. Oh, five sorry. Five. Yes, sorry. I th- for some reason, I thought it said 500. Right. Um, no, no, I'll cut that out. Just five. Yeah, I'll cut that out. Right. His tentacles spring forward and miss you entirely as you dodge out the way. You bring up your sword and pistol and ready to go. You'll go. Fuck him up, sons. Stab him repeatedly by fucking rapier. Again, so underneath, un- under... So weapon it's skill. Uh, weapon skill. Under 49. Nah, 62. All right. So one of the tentacles just grabs you and throws you across the bar. As you hit the ground, you hear Otto in the kitchen talking to somebody. He's just saying, oh, don't worry about it. They'll just... Uh... Thank you. Oh, gr- ah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. They're only travellers. Zeech will be pleased to have their souls as well. I'll get the cuts and the food and we'll deal with them later. Fucking Zinch? With the state of him? <laughs> Not like Slanesh. Nah, man. He loves us under dinner. A lot of change. This man be, ch- this man be changing. No, no, the monster makes sense, but fuck, man, he should, just, he should be Slanesh. He's, he's, he's like Bernard. Bernard's watch. He's no. had every pleasure in... I'm going to say, world. this man ahead of us, he's going through changes. <laughs> changes. 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 Anyway. Um, Don't want to be a massive fat guy. As he's uh, thrown my compatriot across the room, can I finish him off with my rapier? You get a surprise because he's busy throwing somebody across the room. So does that add anything to my... That gives you the shot down. Uh, my a weapon skill is 46, 56 and I got 46. Okay. Your sword goes right through him. Right through the head. In a good way. Oh, yes. Oh, good, good. So, if you want to roll for... Damage? Yep. Yes, please. Oh, well, so, my, my, damage. so, my rapier damage is yeah. 1 SP plus 4, which is 7. Okay. So, yeah, you've uh, your sword goes right the way through his skull, and he just looks at you glossy-eyed for a second. As he dies, the skin forms back around the skull, around your sword, and he falls forward. So, he's got my sword as he falls forward? Yep. Strength through a uh, pullet valve? If you want to try it. Oh, 73, 36. No, I don't pull it out. Right. I've got all of it, but I don't pull it out. As he hits the floor, the sword snaps in half. Nah. Fuck, cunt oh. off, really? Yes. Oh, uh, I'm going to pick up his axe. Tell, tell him something on his side. Tell, <laughs> tell, him, tell, him that, tell him he's like shit and like, he'll never win against Sigma. No? He'll never win against Sigma, but the cunt's broke my sword. <laughs> no, just, I'm just... holding As you pick up the axe, you just hear, change it. Oh, being a uh, being a fucking warrior of Zigma, I drop the axe in a second. Yeah. Why? Cursed axe, broken sword. Fuck, mate. Uh, can I? I've got how much of my sword have I got left? The hilt. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. why would you drop your weapon? I don't understand. Because it was whispering to me. Oh, your, your weapon was whispering. The, you know, I, you, my sword broke. Yeah. And then. Oh, I thought that the creature was whispering. I died no, no. like psychically to you. So I, I. The cunt's face broke my sword. Yeah. And I picked up his axe. Okay. And as soon as I picked it up, it started whispering to me. Oh yeah, drop that. Drop that fucker. You want want Uh, none of that. Well, the thing is, all I've got is this pistol. Yeah. Currently no bullets. I'll (laughs) remedy that in a second. But I'm. We have to fight our way out of here. (laughs) (laughs) They don't. They don't know that there's no bullets. They don't know you have no shot. No. Also. With, with like flintlock weapons couldn't you in theory you know you like rip the rip the powder rip put the powder, powder spin, in spit it in and then like and then you, you, you would put a, a piece of shot in and then yeah, you yeah. ram the, the shot down but couldn't you just use anything as shot I could, I could you use, could use an, any item could I could use fired a stone the that I get down the barrel or That's I could I mean. use the ramrod itself yeah. or anything you can, you like can that you can think of your way around that well, well what I'm going to suggest is that we I heard the landlord talking bullshit so we're going to I think Inquisitor the shit out of him Well I was saying We're in this room Yes I think We start any fire that we can And we just fuck out just of it Just burn it down We just fuck it we Holy sh- fire cleans I, th- I, say we st- I say we start a fire And we just fuck out of here We just like the hearth Well yeah there'll be a hearth. Hearth. There's a hearth So there'll be a lot of There'll be a lot of kindling And fuel Presumably mm-hmm. like hearth. So, so, like, so we could just We could send this So there's a, hearth, there's a hearth In the, fi- in the main What about Orion? Of course there is Yeah yeah What yeah. about Orion? 
He's he's really just killed. The last minute he's really just killed. You mean the the last thirty minutes of game that I was drinking beer through? We just, we just killed the watchman. Like, you, you, you killed him. Well, yeah, but he's I, I, I got stabbed and then... Well, he took my sword from me. He did. Our plan, I think, as it stands, is mm-hmm. to leave the room we're in, yeah. enter the main room where the fiery hearth is... I'm going to the kitchen to, to kick off on the man. I think he... I think... Well, I've not got a weapon, so I, I can't... So you think he's just going to sing us again? I think, in all seriousness, we should, nonchalantly as we can, Go into the main room, go to the hearth, as you suggested, kick the fire everywhere. Mm. As confusion reigns, we should sprint out into the night and try and get to Uber. People could people could escape that. But if they're in the kitchen, they could escape that. They could. Agents but, of chaos could escape, and that's unacceptable. But I think, they all have to die. I think we would well, if you would like, we could try and hold the door. As the, as the fire they could just hold. jump out the window in the, the kitchen. Well, then we all have to leg it, but at least we will have rid the world of a place of chaos. Well, there only seems to really be Otto and, like, one lass that was... Uh, on the, the weird uh, janitor guy. Mm-hmm. There only seems to be, like, three people in here. We can how, how many people were in the inn in total? About ten. I... No. You've noticed that... Well, you've they're noticed they're at this point, none of them are in the room anymore. In the room where we were. Mm-hmm. Well, no, we were in the back room, didn't we? Yeah, you did. But if you go back into the, the actual main inn, none of them are there anymore. Well, there's no need to burn it down because there's no one here. They've uh, run away. Let's They've run away. Well, let's burn this place down and then we will run away. No, we should investigate the shrine more. Roll a perception. You go first, I'll let you roll the dice. Yeah. I'm trying to beat you. Get lower. Uh, lower or equal to. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right. We're going to call that a critical perception. Okay. Uh, I got one. Oh, that's, a, that's still amazing. That's only one off. It's both of us are You got one, I got nothing. I got zero, zero. As you zero. walk back into the main area of the inn, the fire is still crackling away. But you become very aware of a slight sound in the background. We're in the main room. There's a hearth burning. Yeah. I go over to the hearth mm-hmm. and uh, kick it across the grate. Okay. So that fire spreads across the floor. And the the stone say, floor. We've got a stone floor. Yes. Well, uh, well, I kick it towards any wood. <laughs> so I'm like, and the, you're going to kick you it towards the stone the, walls. I singe the edges of the fireplace. <laughs> Well, you've, uh, you've what kicked time? it. Okay, my, f- my first question yeah. is: okay. flammable materials around me, the roof, and the chairs. Tables and chairs. Tables and chairs. And, yeah. and, chairs. Like and the roofs will be the walls will be what and door. I'm guessing they are oil, stone, stone, oil. stone, oil stone, stone oil with wood. Uh, and then but the seal, the floorboards above me will be wood. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, kick it towards the <laughs> tables and chairs, <laughs> mm-hmm. and hope that the flames from the tables and chairs reach the roof. Do you, right, okay, so you kick the fire... I kick the hot kick coal yeah, yeah. towards the and, the, toward and then stand over them going... <laughs> if that's what it takes, then that is what I do. The <laughs> chanting that you can hear on the edge of your, uh, your hearing... Oh, we can both hear this, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear a little voice just uh, right on the edge of hearing... You know... I thought to really go and have a look to see if you could find some kind of uh, stairway. See what's downstairs. It is an idea. Why don't we try and find some kind of stairway and find our way downstairs? You know, it's, it's just this one more thing, are you? See. Can I ever look around the immediate vicinity for anything that resembles a, a blunt weapon or a chopping weapon? Anything that's got an edge to it or something heavier or anything like that? Well, you you can find a kitchen knife. That'll do me. Okay, now you've got a constitution. Yeah. What does yeah. my what damage does my kitchen knife do? Just it it it, it does literally plus one. To what though? So to strength. It, sorry, sorry, sorry. Melee. Plus one strength. Yeah. Higher intuition on the voice. Yes. 
Seven. Yeah, seven, eight. No. You don't recognize it. Well, you well should. No, I mean, I've heard the word zinchi. I heard, I heard something specifically say the word mm. zinch in mm-hmm. plain English or plain old world. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I would, I, would have, I would understand the word zinch, but not the rest of the chant. Uh, I also take this time that we have now to reload my pistol. Okay. Right. Are you just leaving Otto in the kitchen? Uh, I want to go and I want to go interrogate him. I want to find out where he knows. Okay. All right, well, if we're going to do that, can we bum rush him? Can we just run in and fuck him? Yeah. Right. We, well, we can start leathering him, and then like between the punching, we'll ask him questions. Right. I've got a pistol in one hand. Mm-hmm. My knife is secured in my belt. Yeah. He's gonna split and turn into a fucking. And I, uh, we are you armed or unarmed? What have you got in your hands? Yeah, I've got, I've got a pistol and I've got a sword. Right. Yeah. We run into where Otto is. Yep. And into the kitchen. And we fuck him. Okay. You break down the door. Give it a good kick. <laughs> Smash. And he's not there. Right. At the end of the kitchen, Otto. though, there is a trap door open. Is there anything that we can make fire with? Is there any fire in the kitchen? Any oil? The kitchen is with? desolate. There's nothing in there. There isn't anything to make food with. Is there any heavy, as in, heavy items, cleavers, rolling pins? As in, it's, there's nothing. There's, there's no, nothing at all. No it's pans. An empty room. It's basically. Is there is much to make food as, as there is in this room. Exactly, there's yeah. Nothing. There's nothing. Not which a which means room. it's never been a kitchen. Some sort of jizz room where I imagine jizzing happened. It may have been a kitchen once. It's not a kitchen now. It's nothing. I fucking knew that guy knew what the hooded man in was. I fucking knew it, but he wouldn't admit it. Absolute bastard. I'll be honest with you. At least he's in bits We now. should have just walked That's... to the city. Oh, shit. The body, the body of the kid. What's left of the body of the kid? We put it in that room. We're we'll in that room with that creature. They're all creep. They're all. Yeah, creatures. but like, <laughs> it it might be. Well, do we want to go? Well, do we want to go investigate? We should the probably body check. Well, do we want to go check the body of the kid? Or we do Before we go downstairs, we should probably have a look. How far then, is it to Nashda and have a look? It wouldn't take long. Because then I'll Nash back and have a peek. Both bodies are gone. Body's gone, man. Ah, oh, <laughs> Sigma, help us. Um. Is there any? Is there anything in that? Just quickly before we go back to the trap door, is there anything in the room where they've moved? As in, like, dragon marks or like? No. Nothing. Nothing. Just like the body. Stood, like, they stood up it's, and it, walked off. It's like the body's just disappeared into thin air. Shit. Right. Okay. Back to the trap, trap door room then. Actually, roll a perception. When you're in looking at the, uh, looking for the bodies. Oh, 31. Okay. Uh, I know, it's James? I've got 40 base. Perception. Good old Wilbert. Wilbeck. My uh, perception is 22 and 37 is my base. Sorry. Yeah, 22 oh. out of 37. Okay. As you're looking around, going, what the heck? You notice on the roof there are marks in the wood. Little sucker marks. Oh. It's another one of them. The guy from the barn. Or, yeah. Do you know? <laughs> I, I'm just gonna meta game and admit to this briefly. Is mm-hmm. that for the last ten minutes I've been able to see the illustration on the page in front of me, on yours, and I've been doing everything I can in my power to avoid this, but I know it's happening. So <laughs> I'm gonna just grimly go ahead with it. We see sucker marks on the roof. Right. I, I need to like, get a. Uh, you need a DM screen. I do. To bring yeah. a DM screen. I saw it and I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. You should have just went. What's with the technical monster? <laughs> I was like, I saw that. I was like, no, there's no way that can happen in the first game. And then, I, and then, I, the more we advanced through this, I was like, is it the keeper of secrets? No, it's not the keeper of secrets. It better it, be the keeper of secrets. You've played a, you've played a um, silver tower with me a few times. Oh, is it the Whirly Geek Passage? It's not, well, it's no, it's, it's a creature that appears in the Whirly Geek Passage. Blue Horrors. Think, Think Horrors. Well, it's one of. I think it's one of them. I like Horrors. Cool. Fucking hey, they're the, one of the most annoying. They gibber yeah, at you. They <laughs> gibber at you. They split into multiple things. They swear at you. Don't forget. Yeah, they swear at you. They're like, fuck you. I'm not running this as I, I understand, but it's just I see the illustration and I know that you are hateful. <laughs> you will Which means that anything I do is going to be worse. Yeah. Than exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if I so if I see that on the page in front of me, it's going to be right, like right, I need to get a DM imagine, screen. Imagine, as the bloodthirster of imagine, before you, imagine a blue horror but made of dicks. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> a blue horror of dicks. So we've gone down and there's tentacles ahead of us. Mm-hmm. I like we uh, 
That's the next. I like wheelies. <laughs> the if you follow the marks in the ceiling, they lead right back to what the trap I, door. What can I hear? Just the chanting. Just the chanting. So how? Jakana, Jakana, and, Jakana, and, and, Jakana, and directly ahead of me, how how far roughly can I perceive that that chanting is ahead of me? Um, you know it's coming from downstairs in the basement. So further down. So yeah. So further. Oh, I thought we descended. You've not gone into the basement no, no, no. itself. It's on, it's on the ground. Let's go downstairs. Let's go into the basement. Can I look out the window? Yes. Is it still night time? Yes. Still like dead at night, like pitch black. Not yeah. even, not even like. All you can see not is. Not even like the kind of the, the sun kissing the. No, the no. Horizon. All you can, all you can see is dark and rain. It's so not even, not even like twilight. No, kind of no, light. just dark and rain. Fuck's sake! It's not. Even, I mean, how long have we been in the inn? Would you say it felt like an hour? Or an hour, yeah, uh, at yeah, most. So it's like, so it's like twelve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't believe this could took. It's gonna be like from dusk till dawn, isn't it? But like with 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 dick yeah, monsters. With dick monsters. I, I I I I'm going down. You have to. Do we have to? You can see this right. Can I use my witch hunter intu- intuition to be like, well, clearly sucker marks is some kind of horror demon. Well, either because I would I would know demons, right? I would have been well, you know to that, identify demons. You know that's not natural. I would know it was a demon. Either, yeah, either, 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 no, we, either we go into the basement. They're not trained like a, like a chantry or something. Now we just a book we're, of like demons that have been recorded through from the empire. Like a, 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 yes, they would know. But but you don't know of anything that All would right. leave that mark. Alright. They don't have uh, octopus suckers. Do they not? No. Now this is the thing with the Zichian stuff, isn't it? Is that it's it's got no. I mean, like I don't. I don't if, I, if, if we if we take a step if we take away a step away from the game mm-hmm. in in tabletop Warhammer right your blue horror has a defined look yes and your pink horror and your your flames as each have a defined mm-hmm. look and but this is law, why I it's just always a loved ball. Warhammer fantasy yeah it's a because ball in 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 law even in Age of Sigma in in Warhammer fantasy in Warhammer forty k Zeechian horror is the idea behind everything Zeechian is that it has no fixed deter- it's Lovecraftian yeah. Zeech is Lovecraft it, it Lovecraftian yeah. Monster. Yeah. It, it has no defined shape it's indescribable terror uniformity is um, the true horror to Zeech yeah. we only yeah, have, everything is constantly evolving and chaotic yeah. we, only, we only, we only yeah. have like blue horrors because they have to be represented on the tabletop exactly but yeah. they should have no defined shape they should yeah. look like anything and anything and they just the only thing there's only, a, a generalised basic structure yeah. but everything else is up for grabs yeah. it's not like Nurgle stuff and like play bearers and well even Nurgle she, Nurgle has a, a generalised idea but it could be anything within. But like you've got like your blood letters of corn and your yeah. demon exorcism. Corn's a lot more unified. Have, yeah, have a more unified shape. What's up with screamers? Just quickly, just to to, be, to stay on scene because like that's that's such a weird form for like his. They just they just those horrible, like a weird manta horrible thing. sort of manta ray disc mm-hmm. that yeah, screams. They're, they're, at they're silly. They're not like they're, they're, they're very very scary. scary. I think they're just they're a floating shit. disc of magical horror that just sci- yeah, they can like just a- they can just scythe through all of time and reality to attack you. But Manor you got, is like, like pretty like you gotta remember like scary shit. Like Slanesh gets all this like Slanesh gets all this cool stuff because it's this sensuous uh sensuous well, best, greedy best, No yeah yeah best best yeah but it's like it's like S- Slanesh Slanesh is everyone loves Slanesh because Slanesh the is god. it is the coolest god and then uh, I think in order it goes Slanesh, Nurgle, mm. Korn and I would say Zeech is mm-hmm. like usually regarded last, which I think is I think always so unfair. I, I would say because he's just violence. It's a knack. I see, I would disagree with you on that it's one. More, it's however, however, prowess is I'm going to draw. Violence. I'm going to draw a line over this, Boring. and I think that's something we should do in the after thoughts. Yeah, show. sorry, okay. we could go in this discussion for hours. Well, no, well, I think we've it's, got this uh, bit uh, the, stick it into the afterthoughts. Well, the, well, I might just chop it and change, but I think it, that's something to do in the afterthoughts recording. So. Um, I'm gonna go down this. I'm gonna go down the stairs. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm, knife out. I, I go downstairs, and as soon as I hit the ground floor, my pistol is in my hand, and my kitchen knife is in the other hand. Mm-hmm. If you want to cleanse this realm, come with me. Uh, are there any beer taps? Yes. I had myself. Okay, that's good for you. Yeah, you, yeah, I'll be right with you. you you've refilled your rum bottle up with uh, Bigman's finest. Bigman. Yeah. Okay. It's not Bugman's, it's Bigman's. Can I just say... To I all, dig into Dos Beer. To all the listeners of this, and you guys yourself, there's a film that everyone should watch. 
Mm-hmm. Sort of similar to this. It's called Blood on Satan's Claws. Oh god! And halfway through the movie, uh, they decide the the witch hunter character says, "I will disappear and I will find a way to cleanse this land of the demon." And he returns at the end of the movie, and he withdraws from under a silken sleeve a broadsword, and he cleanses this land of the demon by just wielding a, a broadsword. That's he disappears <laughs> for the entirety of the film for the one hour and like. 40 minutes of the film he disappears and when he turns up at the very end of the film he just pulls out a Zyhander mm-hmm. and just lays about himself and he banishes a devil is how you pronounce that I thought it was Zyhander. 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 I thought it was Zyhander. Yeah. well he, he, he pulls out a Zyhander and he just that that's how he defeats the devil nothing okay. magical nothing yeah. other. like all this weird shit happens he just and it's just and it's just this fat white haired old man wielding a Zyhander and he isn't fit enough to wield his white hander and he is just he banishes the devil with that and it's a perfect movie you just perfect. all the weird shit that happens is as, as drawn to an end just with like his white hander as much as I'm well aware that you're trying to desperately uh, postpone your own deaths yeah shall we go into the basement I go into the basement I advance are, tr- are you following me I'm drinking I'm necking beer you're not behind. You're not behind me. No, no, oh, I've met you like five minutes ago. I'm, I'm advancing. Uh, I'm advancing towards the chanting now. As you go down, the chanting gets louder. No kata, no kata, o chai, o chai, o nakata, o taka, o kai. Louder chanting. <laughs> well, you decided to go down there. I'm having a beer. Well, what honestly were you going to do? Stay away from the chaos until it's daybreak and then walk to the sea. Are you a witch hunter or a cosplayer? I am a witch hunter. I'm accredited. Well, come down here and hunt some witches. I'd rather have a beer first. Well, we would all rather have beer first, but look what some of us have done. Give in to your desires and have a beer. I'm not coming back up the tunnel. You can join me here. Just Just do what you feel. I uh, shouted at the tunnel. I'm gonna advance. I mean, my, my character t- 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 this is a literal alcoholic. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> literally like is, an I mean, actual he's, alcoholic. He suffered some genuine trauma. Yeah. <laughs> he's like just neck, like a neck quaffing. He's had some genuine trauma, and he's had to face it for me. Uh, I am advancing towards the horrors. As you break open the door, a figure moves towards you and pushes Bang! you back. <laughs> he pushes me back. Mm. Roll initiative. Uh, initiative. Uh, 54 out of 37. Oh, God. Right. Uh, all together. So, all together, I've got eight, 80 and then 74, 72, 91. My entire initiative comes to 22. I win! Uh, um, you've shot him right through the face. <laughs> and Fagor, the janitor, the groundskeeper, falls down and goes, I tried to stop you seeing. Tell my mother I love her. No. Uh. <laughs> uh. The last word he uses. It's no. I tell your mother you fancy her, you pervert. It's hidden underneath the counter. Uh. It's hidden underneath uh. the counter. Uh. I had so many millions of coins to give. Uh. Oh. I'm, I'm, uh. I'm not joking. If I take him seriously, I can... Uh. I'm gonna run back up to the. Counter. I'm getting pissed uh, at the counter. Surely I'm like. Oh. I, I, uh, I tried so hard to resist. And got so far. I got so far. But in the end. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. I'm What's going that? to. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> well, first of all, oh, fortune, fame. Mirror of I vein. step on his throat. I step on his fucking throat, and Gone I push insane. the last window. I drive my. But the memory into remains. His throat. I grind the last breath out of his neck <laughs> and <laughs> push the spine beneath the boot. Push the spine. It's a five, 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 no, five, six, six, six. Five, 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 six, six, six. Yeah, I've not all that down. Five, 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 six, six. Crush. I felt the leaves forever. Of course you do. Yeah. Ten yeah. nine and thousand. Grass. All dead. And wait a blade. Dust. Uh, what, what was the Steve Austin number? Uh-huh. 316. 316. Ah. All dead beneath this. What do I, initially, what do I see ahead of, directly ahead of me? You see all of the people that were in the counters in the in the bar around a pit. Right. And they're all in hoods. They're all chanting. Otto is screaming. Zitch. Oh, nana. Oh, nana. Zitch. Zitch. 
Any torches around? Any braziers? Any coals? Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're all around the the walls. Uh, I uh, the only move I make is to, well, I would like to, as I am moving towards a brazier of coals, mm -hmm. I reload my pistol, and I chuck I'm, it over. I'm going to add the next part of the non Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. Uh, rules that I'm putting into place. Right. Which is a flip toss. Oh no. I want you to take that and flip toss. Okay, what's, what's we, what we're doing for? This is to see it. It's basically think of this as a. Um, I want the fluff and have a thing on the top. Right. So, oh. other way around. Um, this is like a choose your own adventure moment. Okay. Where this can go one of two ways. And whoever gets. The uh, the fluff and hammer logo wins. Okay. Right. You just keep doing it for both guys. Yeah. Yeah. So ready? One, yeah. two, three. Fucking yes! 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 Right. Yes! So James, as you worship, as you worship, no, as you watch the entire room, tentacles spill out and grab Otto by the face and drag him into the pit. More tentacles spill out and grab the fellows as they are chanting and drag them into the pit. From the pit, a pair of hands starts to rise. A large face, bulbous, 23 and a half eyes stare at you. And it says, Good evening, our little man. Does that translate to your my wife now? I think you might be dinner. <laughs> Come with me, by the way. The shit is blocked. <laughs> the shit is blocked. Shit is blocked. <laughs> As a pink horror rises from the pit. Um, don't split him. No, I don't split him. But what I, what, what I, want, what I wanted to do mm -hmm. as I loaded my pistol was, because I haven't really got weapons, was yeah. to use the bodies around the pit, mm -hmm. kick flaming coals towards them Yes. and start a burning ring of fire that would encase the pink horror. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. it's already risen. It's already risen? It's already risen. It's coming out of the pit. It's dragging itself towards you. Well, I'm going to fire it at its face. Mm -hmm. what, did my, what did my winning the toss get me? Well, if I said uh, if you'd lost, the tentacles would come for you. Oh, right, okay. Well, as I run from the room, I fire into its face. So I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to leave the room and I'm going to fire my pistol. Ballistic and shoot. Uh, 25 and my ballistic is 37. So I've hit the fuck out. Okay. Hey, alcohol is flammable. It is. There's a tap upstairs. Uh, um, vodka is flammable. Beer is not. Uh, beer, really not flammable? beer is not flammable. I've never tried. It's, it's not. Trust I've, me. I've done... Have you tried? Yes. Uh, my pistol is just plus eight, so... The amount of cigarettes I've put out if into beer... So if you had, like, a torch, like a flaming torch, and you spat, if you spat beer into it, it wouldn't go... No, no, it wouldn't. No, no. Uh, ah. my whiskey wouldn't either. My pistol is... Really? Yeah, just you vodka. To, you just heat, vodka. You need to heat whiskey up before it burns. Yeah, true. Yeah, I used yeah. to do it with, like, a flaming torch. <laughs> absinthe, on the hand. Like, oh, yeah, absinthe is brilliant for it. Uh, so it left on your lips and it's gonna all trail back to your mm. lips and then scald the shit out of you. True enough, yeah. yeah. My my pistol to do damage is plus eight. Mm hmm I got fifteen plus eight. Okay. So that's twenty-three. So what you've done there is you've uh, hit it enough, um it has got hmm. How much was your total? Uh fifteen and then plus eight. So plus uh, no, yeah. Fifteen plus eight, actually, yeah. So, that's so what you've done because of my terrible roll there is you've um, you've hit it and killed it. I've killed it. And it's split. Okay. Well, I'm still. I'm running. So from, I'm running from the room. So now it's split into two smaller blue horrors. I'm running. Or oh, as I was, uh, as I was like uh, firing, mm -hmm. which split the fucking thing. Yeah. I was running up the corridor. Mm -hmm. I'm sprinting at full pace. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, Pull myself up the ladder as mm -hmm. fast as I can manage. Yep. Meet my compatriot. Mm -hmm. and say under the counter. There's something under the counter. Blue hot, pink beast. Kill pink beast. Uh, Stop it. We need to leave. 
Please leave. Please yeah. leave the room. Yeah. I take a beer from him, but at the same time, I tap you on the legs, I tap you on the arms. Leave! Hang on, leave. What's, hang on. Uh, the, 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 the counter in the, the, the main room. Yes. Both of you roll perception. Oh shit. Oh fuck. That counts as a roll. Even though it's one of When I find it. Oh, piss flaps, man. Where's it gone? Seems to have gone forever. Sorry, just roll the same dice twice. Oh, man. Uh. Alright, it's here. Oh, how did that get all the way it over there? It went under, under my keyboard. Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll roll that. Uh, 26, and my perception is uh, intelligence. My perception is 37, so I'm 26 out of 30. Yep, cool. Right, so um, what I want you to do then is I both you I want you both to roll one D ten and whoever gets the highest. I got two. Yep. And five. James, what you find is a Zweehander. The weapon to punish a demon. Within <laughs> within the Zweehander <laughs> there is a logo, a rune, if you will, buried into it. You recognise it as the Befriender rune. The rune that dwarfs give to somebody who is a friend of dwarfs. And in this case it's more like <laughs> And Adam, Chris the question I have to ask you. Hmm? Please can I have the stats of this land? <laughs> oh you will, yes, don't worry. Um Chris. Yes. You find a relic of Holy Sigma. Oh. Okay. Just swathed in cloth. It's a piece of cloth. As in, it's absolutely covered in cloth. Oh, so it oh. takes you a few minutes to unravel. Okay. And as you're doing this really slowly, like okay. it's just the uh, the sound of something going. <laughs> No, that's not how ladders work. Um, that's another way of doing it. Oh, yes, I am. That's not how ladders work either. I'm um, going to try it again. You get on my head, I'll get on yours. That's not how ladders work either. Um, let's try telepathy. Oh, well, there's no fishes. Uh, that's not helpful in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'll just try it again. Uh, I'll just cut this bit out because I can't keep this going forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Cloth Sigma? Is mm -hmm. right Yes. Yeah, I try my best. <laughs> <clears throat> And they start to learn how to use ladders. Okay. So that you can hear them now crawling up the ladder. I'm Mari people and like Mari's wife and like a family and stuff. He needs to like like forget his dad. Yeah. yeah. And he can never talk to him ever again. Because he keeps like coming back to this little pocket reality and talking to his dad again and again and again. Do you know what film I really like? I really yeah. shouldn't. Bummer. Click. I like Click. I like Click. Click is yeah, surprisingly like insightful. Yeah. It, makes me, it makes me sad. It does. Yes, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Right. So. God, it's 11pm. Yeah, yeah, that's. I, I, yeah, I wanna, tell me, what, tell me what, to, what my damage does. So, what we're going to do is the. Uh, right now, the Zwei Hando is going to be an instant success because I can't find the. Alright, yeah, cool. The girls, so I want to get this, get this done. Well, I'm going to swing it at whoever comes up that stairs. Alright, so what I want you to do is roll Fun your weapon skill. skill. Uh, my weapon skill is 37, and I got 47. Okay, 47. Right, that is a hit, and I want you to then do damage. What, do you want me to roll the things? Yep, just roll them. Right. 86. <laughs> and we're going to say that that is a hit. Is that on one of the... Yep, so cars? that that breaks the... the that breaks the pink horror right the way down. It falls back down the stairs. Chris. Yep. You have the holy icon of Sigma. What does that do? Do I know? You get an idea. What, what, what is the idea? 
invoke Sigma's name. And banish his the demons. of chaos I banish thee it fails oh some fucking relic massively and a hand touches your shoulder and a voice you recognize says oh yeah you best be trying better than that boy also let me give it a shot in Sigma's name and the foul conjurations that try its best to unhold it the darkness can be gone, and the darkness can be held, and I, Lotzrenaik, will say no to all things dark. Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! And this thudding sound takes place. You are unwelcome here, small horrors! And a shock wave shoots out. You feel the essence. It knocks you to your feet. And with that, a calm comes. And you both fall. And the old man says, Litzrenike has you now. Litzrenike will take care. 